Hello everyone, Cajun here, back for another video. And you know what I wanted to talk about today? I have been seeing some controversy about V streamers, VTubing, virtual reality characters. Depends on how which ones you're watching. There's VTubers and V streamers. But the idea is basically the virtual community. And I may be a little late on this. I'm not sure if it's one or two weeks, but the point still stands. Pokimane made a virtual avatar. I myself have a somewhat educated opinion on this since I've been watching the v or, uh, virtual community rise since the, I guess, birth of Project Melody, Iron Mouse. You know, the, the, the iconic three trio, the, the iconic you know trio that's been popping up. And I think Silver and a few others, Bunny, there's there's quite a few now at this point. But I do remember the rise since um, Melody and Iron Mouse and so on, those all ones started popping up and getting a huge following on Twitch. Which generally, personally, I haven't been known to uh, subscribe a lot to people on Twitch. I didn't watch Twitch a lot until recently since I started uh, streaming there myself link to my twitch town or twitch channel down below but since then i have been watching more and iron mouse particularly got my interest due to some of her uh her past and the way that she's you know ha is doing this for her disabilities and it i kind of felt for her. i have a brother myself who has disabled and it's hard for him to leave places due to the constant hospitalization and working normal jobs so in that regard i could relate and so i subscribed to her the only other per person or thing i subscribed to on twitch was critical role because i was a i, I am and probably still will be a serious D, &D nerd so because of that, I had watched as these V streamers, I guess, for this particular case, rise to a much larger degree in the last, I don't know, year or so, I would say. It has somewhat risen, but it, it was because of them that they had rise. So it was a trend that's getting up. I'm starting to see more and more pop up, and I'm all for it. It's cool. But... When, of course, you have something that is somewhat of a niche become more popular and everyone starts jumping on the, this train of popularity, you will get the people who are already popular who will notice this and believe that it might be a good time to make a character like that just to see if they can get something from it to an extent, but also hopefully in them getting it, or at least that was the idea, at least that's what Pokemon portrayed, is that she was trying to get more attention to these this platform and made these like uh, creators one could say now here's the thing I have a mixed opinion on this because at one point it's a niche is something that allows for people to just feel like they're very special if it isn't gone mainstream but at the same time you want to be able to talk about it with other a lot of people and in that very philosophical idea, Nuxtaku did a video on that and was very thorough on that type of uh, opinion and structure. So I don't particularly feel like I'll have to. I'll put that also in the link down below. But what I will say on it is what my opinions on Pokemon or Pokimane doing this and whether or not I think it was a good thing or a bad thing. And to tell you the truth, based on what I've seen and... Um, the quality of like the avatar and so on, at the very least, the avatar itself is doing the concept justice. If she didn't create buy a cheap, um, uh, joke like thing and then make fun of the community, which is something that she could have done to try to suppress them is a possibility, but she didn't do that. She went with the, all the stops based on what I saw, a full body avatar, which is not generally necessary, but she went with that. And I, based on what I saw of what she created, she wasn't making fun of them. She actually seemed to be liking the experience. Now, in technicality, she isn't the same as the other, like, V streaming or V tubing, as technically her identity is known. But there are some people who 
already had identities known that switched to VTubing just because that's what they felt like doing and it was how they expressed their content better. But you still knew who they were and had face reveals of them, so they're not truly disattached from that character. Now, there are, of course, other creators who are completely disattached from their character and are only a character on the screen and so you don't have to worry about it. This is the two fields and there's a little bit in between but it's mainly the two fields I see with virtual tubers or streamers and I personally think that that's great and as it's both both viable options if I were to create an avatar now and on my twitch channel and was streaming it just because I wanted to have a virtual character for a persona that I have wanted to have sometime show up on my channel I think that shouldn't be a problem especially if I myself am still streaming my my normal content uh, on top of which in theory you could just make a virtual avatar of oneself like Pokimane did so in technicality all you're seeing is her face in an anime thing so she won't have to do as much makeup necessarily at any given point in time I think that's a good thing that could allow for streamers to have been who've been putting on these hard le level of show to get a respite for a moment and if you're going to say that they don't need one I disagree with that um, vehemently it should be allowed I would say they are making content for your enjoyment generally speaking unless you're someone who doesn't like the enjoyment and don't enjoy their content and just there to annoy them or harass them really you shouldn't be there anyways you probably should leave but that being the case it gives them that momentary break from having to do all the normal things to doing something new and maybe a little bit exciting and I think that's something that most people should get the chance to do. Now, it, she is not going around saying that she's the V um, V streamer. That isn't what's happening. She's trying. She was trying to just supposedly bring light to the community, and that's a good cause for sure. And so, I would say that's a good-ish reason to to do it. But I'm sticking with she's going to definitely fit in the category of the individual who is taking on this lookage or visage of the anime character to make it so she doesn't they don't have to say put on as much stuff for themselves as they're putting on the program and start doing all the gestures that they would still make but without maybe makeup because it's not required at the moment due to the obvious camera controlling that so i think it's a good thing for your for streamers in general because if people were able to get that virtual avatar and then it would allow for more content possibilities in my opinion you are able to do more things with little virtual things than you can with your own body that is for sure now of course if you are going to use this said avatar with a full body suit you're still limited by your own body's capabilities but the point still stands you can make it go upside down and around without actually going upside down thanks to programs you can use inside you know uh, whatever streaming platform you're using to turn it invert it and move it just to give some like cool effects for the stream or to give you that a thing iron mouse does this quite a bit she moves her big she turns herself big small moves left to right it's really a visual effect you can add thanks to that without too much necessarily movement on the actual part of the person besides doing stuff with your hand but it allows you to make yourself make more be more expressive when you want to I think this is a good thing and I think being able to have that ability is always great I personally would love the ability to have the uh, avatar avatar of my channel for instance like Lost Paws has his um, Lily or the Lily the Fox Girl mechanic who <coughs> oh excuse me if he wanted to he could create a persona of that and maybe use a voice changer if he'd want to or he could keep it he has done it before similar ish kind of which would allow him to use that personification on a stream where he is just being Lily or his interpretation of Lily the entire time I'm positive his audience would probably think that was funny cool but he doesn't do it all the time he just one of those random quirk things I'd love to be able to do something myself like that maybe I would create I'd make my avatar, which I have deemed Kane, or the in, the individual you see in my um, uh, 
little logo picture, that is the channel's avatar. And I'd say he would be a cool person that I could betray. He's not a very nice guy, but you know, that may be something people like. That being said, he, it would be cool to have that person or portray that character on screen and then still be able to do my stealth on certain streams. I think that's a great idea. It broadens the expanse of your creativity you could use this type of stuff for, which isn't the same as other people are using it for, but at the same time it is, because technically they're building characters, but they don't want to show their actual personality. They like their character that they have built for online, and they prefer you do not snoop into their past, which I do not think you should do under any circumstance. So when I'm looking at this, I see it as a good thing. So let's get back to Pokimane, or specifically her uses or turning or converting or buying a basic V tubing or V streaming avatar. I think it's a good thing. I haven't seen anything bad. She hasn't done anything bad. She just created one and is using it. And anyone who's getting mad about that should realize she's a creator. It's her job to change things. She needs to change it up. And this is a change that I thought was positive based on what I've seen. She wasn't negatively impacting the community and the community was ba mostly positive towards her. Of course, there are always bad apples, but what I have seen is it's mostly positive. Because of that, I would say without, with most certainty that it's probably a good thing. But that's just my opinion. What about your guys' opinion? What do you guys think about Pokimane's anime avatar and her ability to stream using that persona? You think it's a good thing? A bad thing? Do you think that more people should be able to incorporate it? Or do you think that it should stay with the people who started and originated it and people who are starting to be that way instead of the streamers who got big with just their face and their already existence and they shouldn't need to go and use this type of like technology. What do you guys think? Leave your comments down below. I'd, I'd love to know. And also, let's just be talk you and me right here, right now. Please, hit the share button. I mean, it's not that hard. You can share it to your Twitter, your Facebook. I don't know, just let people know I'm out here. And it, it would really, really, I'd really appreciate it. Please do. And hit that like button. Leave a comment down below if you want to. That's not a requirement. I, I don't generally make people comment, but it's cool to see it. I like to respond to them. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.